She's sitting almost off the edge. So when I look at Erica, she's, she's almost out of the edge of the chair, which is fine. That's fine to have. So, and her legs are straight up and down. They almost turn in. So when I look at the toes, they can't be turned out. They have to be up. Yeah, they have to be this way with the knees straight up. Now from here, I want you to hold on. These are some building blocks. You're gonna pull up on the bottom of the chair to pull the ribs up. So it's kind of like that. Then pull the body, pull the body. Hold here. Now I'm spotting her around her waist. Take your hands down to the chair from that place. I'm still holding her. Push down the pedal, keeping the head down, lift the ribs. Again, down, and I'm holding her ribs, I'm lifting her. One more, and now hold, now hold nice and tight around the person, lift the arms off, hold. Now circle the arms around, seek her, seek her deeper, and hold, now hold. Now sit down, bend the arms back into the body. So from this place, if we try, without holding onto the underneath side, maybe if the person gets it, so you stretch the arms, drop the head, curve into the C curve. Now drop the head down and put your hands on the pedal. Press the pedal down. I have her ribs, I'm pulling them up. I'm pulling her against me. And again, and we pull against me. And one more time, now we hold that C curve, lift the hands off, pull in the stomach, open that circle deep. And two, and now hold, now hold, 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 pull back in your, ah, then come down, bend the elbows. You do three sets of that. And now press C curve under, down with the arms, head down, press. And now lift one, down and lift two, down and deepen to hold, lift the hands off, and around with the arms and lift one, and pull back more, two. Now, when you hold here, see curve deeper. I want to feel your ribs go in and hold. Now, flex the feet back and sit.